What is going on today guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a quick little video for you. A little safety thing. It involves the old girl here, the old Chevy. And it involves wheel spacers. So as you guys probably know, I haven't uploaded a video in a little bit um, just because we've been moving and that's pretty much over. So now I'm gonna be focused more on the channel. So anyways, give you a little video here. Um, I was last week changing the upper control arms on this old truck because well, they were just done, totally messed up and had to be changed. No big deal, right? So taking off the wheel here and these wheel lugs were so freaking seized. I don't know if you can see a little bit of burning steeler. I actually had to get the torch out, the oxyacetylene torch, heat these things up till they were red hot. And I was using my Milwaukee Impact, um, big girl of an impact gun, so plenty of power. And these things wouldn't even budge. So I had to heat them all up till they were red hot. And finally, the wheel came off. Did that for the other side as well. And I said, what the hell is going on here? And what I found was there was a quarter inch wheel spacer on these rims now let me get into why this is first of all dangerous and second of all why these wheel lugs were so seized up so for this truck specifically this style of rim is called a hub centered rim basically the rim and the weight of the vehicle is going to be on the hub itself there's a little lip here that the rim sits on the weight of the vehicle is not supposed to be on the studs here the studs are not rated to take the weight of the vehicle. Now the previous owner who put the quarter inch wheel spacer on here for whatever reason pushed this rim out and it was not sitting on this lip. It was on the actual studs. All the weight of the vehicle was on the studs, which in my opinion is why these things were so freaking seized to the rim. Now it is kind of dangerous to have that because the wheel studs are not rated to take the weight of the vehicle on this specific application. Now let me bring it to the back and I'll show you. these. The back still have these quarter inch wheel spacers in them and you can see how right here there's a little bit of a space and you can see that the rim itself right here should be actually further in and resting on this lip here. So the rear still has the weight of the vehicle on the studs which is not necessarily the safest thing. Now I'm well aware you guys are all big girls out there and you can make your own freaking decisions but um, when it does come to keeping the wheels attached to the vehicle, um, you know, make sure you're paying attention because with this specific truck, I don't know if the previous owner knew that simply by putting that quarter inch wheel spacer actually did put this vehicle in a little bit of a safety risk and all it takes is a big bump on the highway and next thing you know, all your lugs are just shum, sheared right off and the wheel is long gone and it puts your your life at risk and other people's lives at risk so when it comes to wheel spacers guys just be very cautious there are you know well-made wheel spacers um, that are even come hub centered so just be cautious when you guys are looking at putting wheel spacers on your vehicle so that's the safety spiel uh mechanically in terms of wheel spacers they're not necessarily the best um not the worst but not the best um obviously if you um, push the wheel further away from the axle uh, it's going to put a lot of load on the wheel bearing itself as well as your ball joints um that it's just that the wheel bearing and the ball joints aren't really designed to take up so you'll probably burn through wheel bearings and possibly ball joints quicker than you normally would with wheel spacers but i mean if that's the look you're going for and you use high quality wheel spacers um, with the correct hub design meh meh I wouldn't be too concerned. I just thought it was interesting how um, a quarter inch wheel spacer could have put this whole truck um, at a safety risk. So anyways, guys, that's it for me today. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be back making cool videos um, sooner than later. Um, and hopefully you guys are looking forward to them because I am. As always, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you like cool truck stuff like this, maybe even think about subscribing. We'd love to have you on board. But enough of me. We'll see you in the next freaking video.